Now remember, this is not a one-to-one -one comparison. Each wallet is scored individually over the course of the year. This is just a review of the top 10 rated slim wallets of 2022 by their final Wallatopia score. Now I'll touch on what makes each of these wallets so highly rated. You're going to roll your eyes at some of these, but really hear me out. You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. I can't wait. Here they are, the 10 for 2022. Lost Dutchman Leather, Tars Camp Air Tag, Mitchell Leather LWCW, the Sacred Card Protector, Lost Dutchman Thin Fin, two Lost Dutchmans in there, the Lighthouse Leather Astragal, the Ochre Leather Flip, Open Sea Leather Stitchless, Exter Aluminum Card Holder, and the Two of Us LV Copper Classic. Now, as we always do, we tell you the price. You can see them here. Some are reasonable, others, well, the Lighthouse Leather Astragal. It's reverse cordovan leather. Now, while you're here, hit the button and please subscribe. If you own a wallet and haven't subscribed yet, then shame on you. All right, so what makes these all score so high? Well, let's set all these aside, shall we? And let's get right to the business of the Lost Dutchman Franklin. As a matter of fact, I have the little mini Franklin with me here. And we will talk about these two in a different video. But why the Franklin? Well, due to it not being sewn, it has all the same capacity as the big fan, but isn't as wide. This fold and back provides some security for quick access cards. If you want to, you put a quick access card in here, so lots of security in there. And like the larger fins, it allows cash to be folded once or used as a wrap here uh -huh, in the particular wallet. Oh boy. Mm. Easy to use, simple, yet elegant design. Notice that the maker stamp is here on the inside, so it leaves this exterior nice and clean. Now onto the Tars Camp Grain Air Tag. The ability to keep a card for tap payment in the front is really nice, which you can do here. And I like being able to open this flip top right here with my thumb. You can just grab it, open it up, and gain access to all the contents. I'm right-handed, so this works for me, but you can order this for left-handed. And I do like how the cash is accessible right here on the side. So we can close this up here. Whether you open it or not, you have access to the cash right here. Going to the inside, the top tier here is nice. You can see this thumb notch right here. Makes getting access to cards. We have a nice little insert here. Easy to do. Recognizing that you need to, the ability to grab a card or cash with your finger and thumb. Very, very nice thinking. More wallet, more goodness. Now, this one may appear to be a little bigger than you'd expect, but remember, this is the 8-centimeter version, which can handle all currencies. They also have a 7-centimeter version, which, if you are not using larger currencies like yen or euro, would work better for you. Leather Mitchell, LWCW. One thing I enjoy about Dave's creations is the exactness of what he produces. He's meticulous about details. If you look at uh, the bottom cut layer of these, right from this angle, you can see that they are precise. Not one is higher than the other. I mean, that's not something you always see on leather works, uh, but with Dave, very precise. And I really like the thinner cut of this leather, but the weight isn't super thin like we see with most wallets or heavier, like what we see with, let's say, the Craft and Lore as an example. And that's really a preference, but Dave does this to keep this nice and thin. Oh, here we go. And uh, you'll notice uh, that if I put in a card in here, that it does stick out a little from the top. Now, unlike other wallets where it does go completely deep, especially into this center area, it pr protrudes out enough to keep the top of the card safe, but easy to retrieve. No digging in the middle slot. The downside, of course, is that you have more cards that are exposed, which means they'll see more wear and tear over time. Now onto the Sacred Card Protector we have right here with the optional band that you can buy separately. The Card Protector is what started it all with the box wallet in the ejector category. Simplicity and ease of use, this trigger has a solid reputation because it can recover instead of being broken if it happens to get smashed in or other mishaps that the company's evaluated over the years. It has a solid reputation with longevity in the marketplace and constantly updated from market experience by the company. It just gets better and better over time. Now, I like this band, which is more common with box wallets. It's elastic, and it's easier to use than silicone in my mind. It's a little smaller than the extra, which, you know what, I'll show you right here. You can see a little smaller than the extra. If you match up the triggers at the bottom, it's still a bit smaller, but still provides up to six cards. This is a classic, and it's still uh, one of the best wallets we reviewed this year. Now, Thin Fin, another, the other Lost Dutchman in today's top 10. Lovely, just like the Franklin. It's sleek, easy to use, doesn't cre create undue bulk in your pocket, and as you can see, the price uh, that you saw earlier was awesome. This flap is what makes it different from the Finnegan. 
The Finnegan actually has a complete strap here. This flap actually tucks into itself. And I tell you, you just it, simplicity does sell the day quite often. You can get cash full of twice in here, as well as a good number of cards. And as you can see, it's the thin, and it is very, very small. Now on to this lovely. This is the Lighthouse Leather Astragal. We all love Horween leather, but this is the Horween of Asia. This is the leather, this is leather Ogawa leather. The tannish, tanning and finishing process on this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. For a wrap wallet, I really like the high gloss burnishing that we see here on the edges. You can see that here, just high gloss is nice. And you can see that we've got this flare in the leather. That allows more cards in here before it has to stretch. Uh, in, in the full review, you can see that unless you put, you know, three or four cards in here, they will have a tendency to fall out. But other than that, I do like this design. Now on to the ochre leather flip. I like the wider stance of this wallet, which provides an easy ingress and egress for cards and cash right here at the top. You can see, very easy to get cards in here. Cash folded twice goes right in here. And the flap gives you a, a, a hard stop. There's the stop right here as it goes in. And so you know that you've got the proper distance for card to be up here. And of course, cash to be inserted over on the top. Hey, don't judge. And with this sitting flat, you have a quick access card slot in the back, a very easy in your pocket wallet. We have another stitchless wallet. Besides the Franklin from Lost Dutchman, we have the Open Seas Leather Stitchless. It uses the gun deck platform with one piece of leather for the body and this leather strap. Something about Hawaiian leather, hmm. Uses a three ounce leather, which I think is perfect weight for pliability, but yet stiffness. And being with, we have a nice opening here, uh, getting in and out is very easy to do. You can also put a card here, a card behind it right here. Uh, for simplicity, you're thinking, wow, what do I get? A lot. This really is a great wallet. And if you like the gun deck style of the Open Seas Leather wallets, then you'll like this one too. Next is the Exter Aluminum Card Holder. Now, unlike leather, the leather wrapped Senate wallet from Exter, this brushed aluminum is sleeker, and this black plate, which is an aluminum, is more refined. You can see that it has this channel right here for this elastic, which is much better in my mind than the new silicon ones that we have coming out from Extra. For some reason, I like the elastic. The silicone is nice, it looks great, but it collects dust, dirt, and that kind of thing. Like the Secret, we're, we are dealing with an extruded aluminum body, which is more durable than we see with wall, wallets, box wallets that have plates that are screwed together. Now, I would have to say that uh, the trigger mechanism on the Extra uh, has more problems reported than the Secret, but again, very popular wallet. Now onto the final one. You may have seen this on the very end. This one is interesting. This is the Two of Us LV Copper Classic. The connection to minerals and earth in this rugged steampunk type wallet is really intriguing and a piece of art and a great conversation starter. We have right here, this is copper that's been beat into this piece. Looks like it could have been created by the Vikings. And being hammered, it has black stainless steel screws that attach the leather to the plate. Hmm, leather and copper. And this is crazy horse leather. So this will patina all day long and will get better with age. It's so primitive that it just makes it cool. So let's move to the final scorer of the grouping itself. You can see at the very top. This year, the Franklin from Lost Dutchman got 46. I mean, it, that is the highest scoring wallet we've ever seen. You're going, well, that thing is too simple. Well, that's part of the allure. It's very simple, not a bad gig. You can see the rest of the scores down here. They all did very well, and that's why they're in the top 10. Now, if you like this video, then watch this one next. That wraps up our look at the top 10 slim wallets of 2022. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.